In this video we're going to look at a few real life examples of slopes and grades. So we'll do example 1 here, example 2, example 3, slope of a roof, and example 4, slope of a treadmill. Okay. So with example 1, if a road climbs 540 feet over a horizontal distance of 4,500 feet, uh, we've got to get the slope or grade of the road. Okay. So there's a couple of things we need to to know. First thing, uh, slope equals grade. That's the same thing. Grade is just another word for slope. Okay. So, um, so you know, slope. Write that down. Equals grade. So if you write it down, you're also writing it into your brain. So make sure you write that down. Slope equals grade. It's just another word for for it. And um, what is the slope formula? Um, or in general, slope is something over something, a word over another word. Do you remember? Slope equals begins with R. R over R something. Rise over run. Okay, this is a definition we have to write down and remember. So write that down a couple of times if you need to. But slope equals rise over run. Okay. So what we have is a road that rises and it, it climbs 540 feet over a horizontal distance of 4,500 feet. What that means is, um, uh, if you think about the horizon, a horizon horizontal, if you measure a horizontal distance, okay, here's a car on the road, right, and it starts here and goes to here. Well, that's uh, 4,500 feet. Okay, that's the horizontal distance from here to here. And by, and if if you go up the road, you will have risen. Go up the road in your car, you'll have risen um, 540 feet. Okay. So, which of these numbers is the rise, and which of these numbers is the run? Do you think? you know what I'm saying? So the slope equals, or the slope or the grade equals rise over run, which is, what's the rise, what's the run here? The road rises, goes up 540 feet, uh, 40 FT, okay? And the run is 4,500 feet FT. And that is our slope, 540 over 4,500. Now, the only thing we should do, though, is to try and simplify this. <coughs> we'll write it as a fraction and also get it as a percentage because um, that's how they, they'll give you a road grade. Like they'll say this road has a grade of 7% or 3% or 6% or whatever. So now we're going to, first of all, um, Simplify the fraction and then turn it into a percentage. So feet cross cancel, and we get 540 over 4,400. So just notice that if you have units of measurement like feet or yards or inches, they can cross cancel just as if you had x over x or y over y. You know, uh, variables they would cross cancel too, right? And I can divide the top and bottom by 10, so the zeros cross cancel. So now I have 54 over 440. And um, I can divide top and bottom by 2 for sure. 2 into 5 goes twice, remainder 1. 2 into 14 goes 7 times. So I get 27 on the top. And on the bottom, uh, 2 into 4 goes uh, twice. 2 into 5 goes twice, remainder 1. And 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So 27 over 225. And believe it or not, Looks like 3 will go into the top and bottom as well. 3 into 27 goes 9 times. 3 into 22 goes 7 times, remainder 1. And 3 into 15 goes 5 times. So we get 9 over 75. Now, can you reduce that further? You might be able to because you might see, in fact, um, 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 also goes into 75. 3 into 7 goes 
twice and one over 3 into 15 goes 5 times so the grade of the road or the slope of the road uh, reduces to 3 over 25 now we'll also give this as a percentage okay and the quickest way to do that is just put it in your calculator 3 divided by 25 and that gives you a decimal so we've got it we'll give the slope or the grade as a, a, a fraction it's also a decimal 0 0.12 can be written as a decimal and also as a percentage because that's how you'll see it um, driving along in your car you'll see a sign for a row grade of um, as a percentage so how do you turn the decimal into a percentage 0.12 move the decimal point one two spaces to the right and that is twelve percent okay so we'll give the the road grade as a fraction uh, in lowest terms a decimal and a percentage so see if you can do the same thing in example two a hill rises two hundred and eight feet over a horizontal distance of six hundred and fifty feet what is the slope or the grade of the hill so same thing see if you can solve this. Give your answer as a fraction in lowest terms, a decimal and a percentage. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So the slope or the grade is equal to rise over run. Okay, and if you've got a hill and it rises 208 feet over a horizontal distance of 650 feet what's the rise, what's the run? Did you get that? The rise is the amount it goes up, that's the 208 feet the run is the amount it goes across, 650 feet now can you simplify that fraction, put it in lowest terms then write it as a decimal and a percentage so feet cross cancel right and we can try to simplify this now so I would say four would probably go into both and I'd be wrong let's d divide top and bottom by two how about that uh, so they're both even numbers, so we know 2 goes into both of them anyway. So 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 0 goes 0 times, 2 into 4, 8 goes 4 times, 2 into 6 goes 3 times, 2 into 5 goes twice, remainder 1, 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So we get 104 over 325. Now the feet crossed cancelled as well, so they're gone. And is there anything else we can do? Um, 325 is well, 25 times something uh, 25 into that would be 13 102, 104 would be um, 2 times 52 I don't think we have common factors here do we? Uh, 52 is 26 uh oh we do yep whoops a daisy so this is um, so 2 times 52 over 25 times 13 now 52 is 26 times 2 by the way and um, 26 is 13 times 2 so basically we have okay let's start again 2 times 26 times 2 is the top so that's basically you know 4 times uh, 26 on the bottom we have 25 times 13 but 13 goes into 26 13 to 13 goes once 13 to that goes twice so we actually have 4 times 2, 8 over 25. Okay. So the slope or the grade of this hill is 8 over 25. Now write that as a um, decimal and a percentage.
Well, there's there's two ways to get a decimal for this, by the way. One way is to go 8 divided by 25 and get your 0 0.32, or, or you could do this, 8 over 25. If you try to get 100 on the bottom, just times the bottom by 4, but times the top by 4 as well, that'll give you 32 out of 100, right? So that's 0 0.32 as well. So in any case, 0 0.32, and as a percentage, 0 0.32, of course, is 32 over 100, which is 32 per 100, or 32 per cent, okay? Per cent means per 100. So 0 0.32 is 32 per cent, right? So that is the grade, or the slope. Slope or the grade is, is, is any of these three things. But please give all your answers as a fraction in lowest terms, a decimal, and a percentage. Let's have a look at example three. Find the slope of this roof. Okay. So, first step is write down what is the formula for slope. Slope equals what? Rise over run. Okay. And we've got two feet six inches. That's the okay. This is supposed to be the roof of a house here. Okay. And this is the horizontal rise, two foot six inches. And this is the vertical, the vertical uh, rise of the roof. And this is the horizontal uh, distance. Okay, so we just kind of take this part, just one of the triangles, let's say, because we just want the slope of the actual roof here. Okay, and so it it over a horizontal distance of nine feet four inches, it rises two feet six inches. Okay. So the rise is your two foot six inches, and the run is your nine foot four inches. The only problem is, though, you know we can't calculate with that. We need just one um, unit of measurement. So how about we turn both into? Can you turn both of those into inches? Maybe. What would it be? Turn them both into into inches. What's two foot six? Well, isn't it, you know, 2 times 12 is 24 plus 6, right? Wouldn't that be 30 inches? And what about this? 9 foot 4 inches. There's 12 inches in a foot, right? So 9 times 12, then add 4, right? Whoops. 9 times 12, 108, add 412, right? So now put this fraction in lowest terms and give it as a decimal and a percentage also, right? Okay, hope you press pause and try that. Make sure you can put it in lowest terms, write it as a decimal and a percentage. Press pause and try it, then I'll do it, okay? Okay, I'll do it now. So I think 3 can go into the top and bottom. So uh, 3 into 30 goes 10 times. Uh, 3 into... Oh, I'm wrong. Sorry, silly me. Um, so that won't work. Whoops, don't mind me. But the inches cross cancel anyway, right? Sorry. So we have 30 over 112. Well, 2 goes into the top and bottom for sure, right? Uh, 2 into 30 goes 15 times. And 2 into 11 goes 5 times, remainder 1. And 2 into 12 goes 6 times. And I'm. let's see now. 3, does that work? No, 3 won't go... So I think that's as far as we get. 15 over 56, right? I think I made a mistake. So in any case, our slope is, of course, um, or slope or grade of the roof is just 15 over 56. And as a decimal, we plug that in the calculator, 15 divided by 56, we get 0 0.267. So we'll just round that to two decimal places, 0 0.27, and give that as a, as a percentage as well. 27%, right? Just skip the decimal point two spaces to the right, right? 
So example four, can you do this one yourself? Find the slope or grade of the treadmill. So this is supposed to be a guy on a treadmill here and the treadmill rises 0 0.9 feet over a horizontal distance of 6 feet. Okay. So press pause and get the slope or the grade of the treadmill. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So the slope is rise over run which is 0 0.9 feet over 6 feet, right? Now, the feet cross cancel, and we have 0 0.9 over 6, and um, uh, one way to deal with having a decimal in a fraction is times the top and bottom by 10, okay? What is 0 0.9 times 10? 0 0.9 times 10 is 9, right? So we have 9 and 6 times 10 is 60. So we can write it 9 over 60 and now 3 into 9 goes 3 times and 3 into 60, 3 into 6 goes twice, 3 into 0 goes 0 times. So that gives us 3 over 20. So our slope or our grade is 3 over 20 which is what? What is that as a decimal and a percentage? So if you put that in your calculator, you'll get 0 0.15, right? Which is also 15%. Okay?